In this problem we have, we're given the Maclaurin series for e to the x, and we're told that the continuous function f is defined by f of x, is given there, for x not equal to 1, and that f of 1 is equal to 1. The function f has derivatives of all orders at x equals 1, and our first task is to write the first four non-zero terms and the general term of the Taylor series for e to the quantity x minus 1 squared over about x equals 1. Since we're given e to the x above, I'll start with writing e to the x minus 1. And that should just be a replacement of x with x minus 1. And we're on our way. So 1 plus x minus 1 plus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cubed over 6, etc. Then e to the x minus 1 squared would then just be to square the x minus 1. And in this case, I'll write it out so that you can see we would have x minus 1 squared and then to the second power over 2 plus x minus 1 squared and that's to the third power over 6 and that would come out to be 1 plus x minus 1 squared and then plus x minus 1 to the fourth power over 2 plus x minus 1 to the sixth power over 4. And that should satisfy the requirements here. Write the first four non-zero terms and the general term. So we also need the general term here, which would be plus and Let's see what we have here. We have the zero term, the first term, the second term, and the third term. We need in our denominators, sorry, the denominator of the fourth term is not four, it is six. And that makes a lot more sense. So we have 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial in the denominator. So that's still n factorial in the denominator there. They're all positive terms. So we definitely have an x minus 1 in the numerator. And let's see what we have. We have x minus 1 to the 0 power, to the 2nd power, to the 4th power, to the 6th power. And that appears to just be 2n, x minus 1 to the 2n power. And so that should do it for this first part of the problem.